Gun studying the virus. Hey guys, so I'm finally going on a road trip. Now, this is a very different kind of road trip because the initial plan was to go from London to Germany to Italy and end in Lake Como. So I would love to take this, the ABBA 695 70th Anniversario, down to Italy where its kind of home is. Although due to the current climate that's going on in the world and literally this trip, trip was booked lastminute.com it's friday morning i booked the euro tunnel last night because i had a sneaky suspicion that italy was about to go on the 14 day self-isolation list upon return the plan is to go all the way through france without stopping until we get into germany so we can go kind of via strasbourg i think so we can pull off in there get some fuel and then head back down through france into baden baden <laughs> I, honestly, this car has been so good. I mean, really, we're only going for a few days, so technically we shouldn't really have this much, but when you travel with your wife, she brings an awful lot of stuff. So uh, yeah, so far, so good. Anyway, traveling with the wife and having her load up the entire boot of the car aside, this is actually really nice. I mean, if I spin the camera around, I know it's quite sunny, but we've lucked out with the weather. You know, these are scattered all over France, and these are the only place that you are allowed to stop. Uh, here in well if you're traveling through France because of the whole COVID stuff you can see we're the only car here so we're not mixing with anybody and um, yeah just a good place to stretch the legs a little bit have a little, little drink eat one of the sandwiches we bought in the UK and then back on the road for a bit so we're not that far so we're probably around about I'd say probably about an hour and a half away from Starbucken and I've got a quarter tank left in the car the only downside I would say to this car so far and bear in mind we've been in the car since around about uh four in the morning we've been in the car for a while now nearly six and a half hours the only downside to this little thing here is i'd say the sabelt seats ironically because the sabelt seats the back support isn't great uh, and we're starting to feel it a little bit in terms of how it drives it's been great absolutely great we've got the apple carplay we've got the music going on it's, uh, it's really nice. It's not been too loud as well like, because I've got the new uh, Monza exhaust. I've had it out of sport mode, so it's been really comfortable. It's not been obnoxiously loud. If I want the valve open, then I can do. So guys, we have finally made it here to Baden-Baden in Germany. I'm so pleased to be here. I'll tell you what, it was touch and go as we had to go through Saarburg and, uh, and as you can see by a couple of overlays, it was literally zero miles left on the tank. We managed to do that because obviously in France, you're not, you're not allowed to stop for fuel. The only place you can stop is those little picnic -y areas, but um, credit where it's due, this little thing did a cracking job. And uh, it was actually really good. My back does hurt a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. We've been in the car for the best part of around about nine hours. So uh, naturally the Sabelt seats are not to the best seats to have, but I'm uh, super pleased with it. So yeah, let's quickly check in and I'll show you guys a bit of Baden-Baden Old Town, because it is a lovely place. If you've never been here before, you need to come to Baden-Baden.
so it's been a very, very long day. We started the day out, it was three in the morning wake up. It's now around about six in the evening German time here in Baden-Baden. The weather isn't great, but that's okay because I've got fingers crossed that tomorrow when we do the Black Forest run, it's gonna be decent. I'm gonna bring you guys all of that content in the 695. I know you guys have waited a while to see me driving this car, but I promise tomorrow you will see that. Hopefully I'll get the drone up as well. But I'm gonna end tonight with a local beer. And I can say it's flipping good and I'm not driving anymore, so I'm gonna knock this one back. So uh, cheers guys and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys, it is the day after our arrival in Baden-Baden. We've had uh, a very good stay. I've had a very nice sleep and now we are entering the Black Forest run. We are heading down to the south of uh, the Black Forest and I remember this camera because this is the camera that caught all of us out on the way there. So uh, they're very sneaky if you can see them here on the left. But now this route will open up very nicely and uh, we will indulge in what is a pretty spectacular drive here on the Route 500 just outside of Baden-Baden. And this is where the ABBA 695 uh, 790 Versario will be a bit more fun because it's at home here on the Twisties. We've got a lot more kind of characterized roads suited for this car rather than motorway journeys solely for uh, a car which would be more benefit to something like cruise control. So. We're gonna really enjoy this. specifically to this road. <laughs> That's just superb. Now you've got to kind of pick this route well in the morning because if you leave it too late, you can get stuck with a hell of a load of traffic. But right now where we are, it's just gone kind of 9 a.m. We've got an empty road. recommend coming down to Baden-Baden or at least the Black Forest to anybody who wants to enjoy some roads just like these I mean just take a look at this so many good corners <laughs> it is corner after corner after corner as we elevate up into the Black Forest oh, I'm having such a good time this is just incredible and actually this for me is where the car is, it's just so good and this is why the 695 is such a popular car well just the 500 platform in general as we get a bit of traffic now the 500 platform in general is just so great when you want to throw it around kind of tight and twisty corners undulations it doesn't matter because it's got such a go-kart feel to it this is the kind of car that you want around this area
So as you can see guys, the roads around here are just insane. But it's not all about the driving. I mean, for me, the Black Forest is very, as you've seen on the B-roll leading up to this point, the meats around here are insane. This is kind of my new favorite thing. It's kind of like a, a butter pasty thing with loads of bits of bacon in it. Very, very nice. And of course the coffee. Um, it's a bit cold but it's manageable. So uh, we're gonna knock this back and then head to our hotel. More importantly, give this a go. Need to try this. Oh, back in the warmth of the car. It is freezing out there. Well, it's freezing out there for the fact that I'm only wearing a hoodie. I didn't really plan that one right, but back in the motor now. And as you can see now, right ahead of us, I mean, look at that, we are literally sitting above the clouds. I mean, look at the views, guys. It's just stunning. Where in the UK can you casually just drive at 130 mile an hour and not worry about the speed limit? Amazing. Right, we're not breaking any land speed records here. There's some traffic up ahead, so we'll back off. But uh, just another little beautiful token to add to this trip, just to be able to jump on the Autobahn. I love Germany. And this car has been really good. Other than the seating position, I'm very pleased with the 695. So, another long day. I've made it to the south of the Black Forest, uh, where me and the missus have a chilled out evening, I have a nice meal and just relax. Uh, and then tomorrow, I set off up back towards the north of Germany. I'm heading to the Nürburgring. I'm not doing the Nürburgring because I'm in a press car, but just want to go and see what's going on over there. I'll save a lap for when I go with my friends. Uh, but I just want to see what's going on in the Nürburgring and just chill, so that might be another video. I haven't decided yet, I might just have a day off tomorrow. Uh, well, if there is another video, you'll find out. If not, then hey-ho, I've decided to chill. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, a bit of a different viewpoint, I guess, a bit more different uh, scenery than the usual UK content. I've just been really grateful to be able to get out of the UK before everything gets locked down again. Uh, really, I think, I'm, I'm filming this at the moment, Germany is still okay. Uh, but more than likely, by the time I release this video, Germany will probably be under full lockdown as well or something similar like that. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a thumbs up. It does help the channel massively. My name's been Steph. You guys have been awesome. Take care and I'll see you all very soon on the next video. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>